Hey all, Will Healy here, and the skill shortage is really a challenging thing for manufacturers right now, especially if we're trying to find skilled people like welders. And so a lot of manufacturers are working on taking people in their organizations that are reliable and people they want to upskill and teaching them welding or teaching them how to be a part of their welding process. And so one of the things that's been really interesting to me is looking at a company called Hirebotics. And Hirebotics is using UR um, robots to do welding in a very unique, interesting way using an app on an Apple or Android device. And so I got a chance to actually uh, learn how their solution works uh, and actually tracing a weld along the side of something like this uh, Cobot welder uh, bottle opener. So I'm going to show you the video. It's a little bit long, but it is totally worth the wait. Rob Goldies from Hirebotics. Okay, we awesome. We a Cobot welding system on the UR platform. Yeah, cool. Um, we think we've got the easiest new system that's okay. built for welders. So we abstract away all the complexities of robotics and cobots and do purpose-built software on an app okay. for welders. So right here right here on this Apple. Yep, this is Apple. Yep. Okay, it could cool. be Android, it could be web, whatever you want. Okay, cool. So it's the screen that people are already familiar with. So I'm using an app. I'm not using the pendant right that's now. That's right. Don't use the don't need to use the pendant with our software. Interesting. Okay. That's very different. So let's uh I'll walk you through it. You okay. Know? You're gonna have me program it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I hit there, okay? Give it a name. Yeah, here we'll call it Will Automate. Okay. Auto can I spell it? There we go. Cool. And then hit next. Next. If you've got weld procedures saved, you can pull from those. If okay. Your settings manually, you can, but let's just use because because I know welding. I'm going to set up what I know. You'll set up some procedures, save them, and use them across parts. Got it. Cool. So, uh, here we'll pick it. Hit use Good. these settings. Use these settings. So now we're in teach mode. Okay. It's, it's ready to add some linear welds. That's by far, based on the data, the most common thing that people add. Okay. We've got two buttons on the back of this. I'll swing it around here. Yep. Top button does free drive or lead through teaching. Got it. Okay. Well, there's no torch angles. They know where this should go. Yep. The uh, bottom button is going to add whatever the app is on right now. So, okay. So the bottom button's like adding the waypoint, the checkpoint. Right. Okay. Connect the dots. Okay. So press and hold. Let's just teach it to a, a path around this part we've got here. Okay. As I smash your iPad. Okay. Good. So that's that's pretty decent. What do you think? Looks great. Okay. Click the blue button once and release it. The blue button's the bottom button. Yep. Okay. Boom. We just added our first point. Oh, yeah. There it goes. The first weld. Okay, cool. Press and hold the green button. Let's move to the next point. Okay. So I'm going to move, like, down here somewhere. Yep. Just somewhere along that path. Okay. Looks great. Click and release the blue button. Okay. Perfect. So now let's add an air move real quick, right? Okay. we got a shortcut to do that. We want to make it easy. So yep. if you press and hold the blue button and you're holding it in, yep. you'll notice the software automatically switches over to... Oh, hold the blue button in. Hold the blue button see, in. So you have to like listen when you're doing these things. Okay, yep. Hold Press the bottom hold, button. Hold the bottom button in. Yep. Yep. Oh, teach air move. Right, okay. So just toggle. Now you can let go. Of the, yep. And let's bring it up into space. Green oh, oh, the green button, yeah. Bring it up. Maybe that's where we want our air move. Yep. Let go and click the blue button. So now we're adding an air move. Perfect. Okay, so it moves up. Yep, cool. Let's save. Okay, it's save. We've got a uh, playlist. Yep. Just like Apple or Spotify. You yep. can queue up one part, two parts, as many as you want. Yep. Resequence those parts. Okay. We want to create a new playlist with this part, that last yep. option. Okay. Create a new playlist with this part. Yep. Okay. So you've noticed that terminology, very... Well yes. friendly, not robot programmer friendly. Yes. We've got a play button over there. Yep. On the hardwired button box. We hit that and we'll get, get this thing rolling. I'm a welder. <laughs> Look at that. So this is obviously very simple, straightforward, right? Yeah. People can set up way more complicated things yep. by stitching these types of moves together with air moves and other things. That's, that's really cool. Pretty easy. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for that demo. That's You're really welcome. cool. All right. Good. Okay, that was really cool, right? I um, I actually ran a weld, and so that's that's really neat. And I didn't do that alone. There was absolutely someone much smarter than me setting up some of the parameters and things ahead of time. But you can see how uh, a tool like this can be utilized to have more people help in our welding production every day on the production floor. So. 
Uh, if you're interested in and for more information about high robotics, I'll make sure there's some links down in the comments. And until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?